Right, I'm Dr. Sherman Green. I'm a lawyer at the Land Trust. I'm here today to show you how to start hydroponics inexpensively. It's just a little bit of money to get started and you'll learn the concept of it, then you can increase. You can increase your size of, of your hydroponics. I always tell everybody the first method is your safety. Don't, don't do nothing that's not safe. And I should have on uh, safety glasses now. But <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to put our nutrient in here. Mix it just like the pack said. Some people like to put a little more in it, but you hurt your plants when you put more than how they tell you to mix it. Like me, when I first started, I wanted my to grow fast. So I put too much fertilizer in it. So just mix it exactly like they say. I always mix mine in five gallon buckets, three gallon buckets, until I get it where I want. Then we're going to put, a, put the top on it. When you're using, you need a, a three, three inch hole saw. And when you're using this saw, be very careful because if it hangs, it's going to hurt your wrist. So we're going to design us a little top for this. And this is how it's going to look when we finish. But it, it's nothing to it. You can do it. any design you want. Your design is your design. I just do what I, I do. You see how that thing grabs? Now, believe it or not, you just made your hydroponic system. Now, what you do now is, you know, you got to clean it off because you don't want that in your in your plants, and uh, put your nutrients down in here. It goes on the edge on it. This is the design that I just did. It don't have to be like this. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to connect the uh, air pump to the, the uh, system. And what that does is it aerates the roots of the plant. And all plants need, need oxygen at the bottom. They need oxygen. Uh, if you're growing in uh, hydroponic or aquaponic, every one of them needs a little the, uh, oxygen. So I'm gonna put a hole on each end, somewhere about like that. You didn't right. see okay now. We're gonna do another one over here. Put it about right there. I got a double prong uh app on. And you don't have to have a double prong, but that's just what I got. The air pump somewhere near the system. And plug it up and it, it, it'll pump air, but that's two more things that go. These are called air stones. What they do is disperse the air in the water. When you, when you put it in your water and your nutrients, all you just put it on the end of it. And these are called air stones. And they'll aerate your water real good. And that's what a plant needs. A plant needs a little oxygen. And some people say no, but I'm telling you, if you want them to grow fast, put your air stone in it. And you don't have to have two, like I said, you don't have to have two. But you need at least one. 
at least one. The reason why I cut them holes is in that size, this is a three inch knitting cup. This is what I plant my plants in. It'll go down and hold it, the lip of it holds it in place. Just like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our ash stones down inside the tub. Make sure that our plant get, this helps your plant probably more than anything. I know your nutrients helps it, but, but the, uh, the oxygen helps it too. A whole lot. If you get a, if you don't have a grow light, put it somewhere where the sun can shine on it. If you put it in your garage, you know it's dark and everything. It ain't gonna, ain't gonna do right in there, so. I mean, it'll do right, but you have to have a, a, a glow, glow light, you know. So I suggest buying one of them. And they're only about, only about, you can cut it on if you want to sell. They're only about $19. And you see why it's called, see why it's called a glow light. That light is powerful and it, <clears throat> them plants, like that. What you want to do is bring your water up to about inch of the bottom of the cup. Put you some, I use, I use clay pellet. P rabbit salmon, you have to wash them all off before you use them. This, this is a clay pellet. You put that in the bottom of your, of your uh, container. Your, your knitting cup. I always put it you know, about halfway. You know, always make sure you wash them. Cause they're gonna dirty up your water if you don't. Mm -hmm. I always put about that many in there. And I set them down. All of them do the same thing. All of them do. And then take your rock wool. Sure some people take the paper off and some don't. But it, it's, it, it'll degrade itself, it'll just break down. So, take your rock wool. And what I do now, I'm just telling you, this is the correct way. Everybody got a different way. I soak my rock wool in the nutrient first. Put it up here, put your seed in. You can turn it this way, it don't make no difference. Make sure you wiggle it down in there so it won't float off. Put your seed on top of that. And it began to grow. Not to use the rock wool. You can put a seed right on top of your clay pellets. Mm. Uh, either uh, pea gravel. Mm. And they'll grow from, they'll grow from there. Mm -hmm. This is where the air comes out into your water. And it aerates your water. And keep, keep oxygen in your water. Uh, Siphon side. Cut your piece of siphon side and it will go down in there, at least an inch. Cut it to size. And what we're going to do now, we'll cut it to size. But what it does is, it floats. It floats, and then you cut your holes in this. This does the same thing. You cut your holes in it, you measure it to the side, and Hey, we might ought, to, might ought to cut a piece there. Mm -hmm. You see how that cup? Now this is the this is the best design. Cause you see how far that cup comes mm -hmm. under there? That's that's far as you, you want your water to come. Mm -hmm. This is a, a one inch styrofoam siding board. And they they are kind of expensive. They're, they're about $22 a sheet. But you got a big old sheet that you can make several mm -hmm. aquaponic systems out there. So we're gonna lay this in the side. And what I'll do, I'll just cut a piece and show you how that how that works. Cause we don't want to just cause this thing makes a lot of it makes a mess when you cut it. Mm -hmm. It really does.
and that plant have the nutrient it needs all the time just by sitting there. You want it somewhere on the bottom of it, about like that. And that's that's what that's one of the best things I found to do that how to punish. I don't I don't like to cut them them uh, totes top out no more. I like to use that. Just go ahead and measure and cut it out. And uh, that way you have to try to prise it open and disturb your plant roots and all. Mm -hmm. And this thing, all you got to do is just raise it up, take check your roots or whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's the easiest way that I see to start it. Flow the raft system. You, you, you have to you have to check your pH. And when your pH go down most of the time, I say a couple of weeks, but when your pH go down, that letting you know that the water probably need changing. So I would change it. But most of the time, by the time the plants be ready to harvest, to be harvested, it's time to change the water. I harvest my plants, I change my nutrients, and I'm good to go. This is called a flow to wrap system here. I want you to build your box. That's what this is right here. your bottom on and we, we turn it over. You got it lined with plastic. You got it lined with and when you this is the concept that I want y'all to get. And everybody that's trying to do how to punch. Think about you. you got them sitting in the water from the other side. I want you to plant this this part right here. Now this this is this is behind me. This this is the first and this is the second. I want you to just plant these. Don't plant these here. Plant these. Once they begin to come seedlings, I want you to take this one out, slide this one down, put that back there, and plant that one. By the time this one come up as seedlings, a uh, transplant, tall enough to plant, these be ready to harvest. Then when you harvest those, push them down, come back, and plant this one. 